such oysis advertising in red invented by teats such oysis advertising in red invented by teats there have been 10 penalties in the world cup already with video assistant refereeing proving controversial in their awarding further frustrations have been aired that var is being utilized for some instances but not others brazil have complained about the lack of var in the draw with switzerland while england conceded a penalty but were denied one themselves over var inconsistencies in the 2-1 win over tunisia Australia have been the victim of a VAR decision, France were awarded a penalty in their opening clash of the World Cup. While Denmark had a penalty given against them against Peru thanks to VAR only for Christian Quaver to blaze over the crossbar. Australia faced Denmark in a crunch group seat I at 1pm today. And Socceroos legend Kiel admits he still has reservations over the technology and is wary of what controversies lie ahead, referees are catching out incidents. It's big pressure on the referees. Gil told Express Sport they make a decision that can affect a whole nation. Outside the box it's questionable but inside it's got to be 100% right. I've seen some decisions in this World Cup when VAR was used and they've given a yellow card. But then five minutes later it's happened again, they haven't gone to VAR and the player gets away with it. The perfect example is the England game. What Kyle Walker did, the striker made a meal of it and the hand was raised. But it was just a flailing hand and everyone is making the most of it. Yet Tunisia the spear tackles on Harry Kane and nothing gets reported there, so you start to question the referee giving it for one thing but not another. What all teams and players want is consistency, Australia need a victory against Denmark to stand the best chance of qualifying out of the group stage. And Kiel insists the Socceroos cannot linger on the France VAR decision that turned on Antoine Griezmann at penalty. Yes, we were on the receiving end of a controversial decision and I know everyone was saying it was a penalty on Griezmann, Kiel added, but for me I don't think it was. You don't see the defender's leg trail up or down. Griezmann has that talent that as soon as someone touches you, you go down. It was just a natural running action. But for me I don't think that was a penalty, Uber. Eats is helping Andrea Pirlo find a team to support this summer, join in 